Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Chin. Happy birthday to the Viral Podcast! Happy one year. One year anniversary. This is our 52nd episode. One year of, of podcasting, man. I cannot believe it's been one year. I know. And thank you, seriously, to everyone who's stuck with us grown with us just masturbated with us master- to the show yep masturbated with you. us just lifted us up yeah you guys do a lot for us and mm-hmm. we just really appreciate it and we're so grateful we are it's been a fun year we even have a birthday cake here on our desk uh, maggie went and picked up a birthday cake it's a chocolate cake so at the very end of the episode guess what mama's busting that motherfucker open oh we cutting it Mm -hmm. cutting into it and gonna eat on that so stay around for that we have a fun little podcast um uh planned uh if you are listening and not watching this is week two of october podcast we are dressed up for week two so go ahead and what are you Paige? i'm amy winehouse you gonna sing us a little something you try to make me go to the rehab i say no 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 Dead, bitch. <laughs> Dead. That was good. I kind of forgot how it went. Paige looks just like Amy Winehouse with the hair and stuff. So, you guys, chat. We'll post pics and stuff. If you're not, if you're listening and not watching, we will post pics. Yeah, and I sprayed my hair black, and it's messy. Yeah, I can't even touch my hair. It's getting all over my face. Not good. Not good, honeys. And I am a sexy werewolf lady. Your makeup's done awesome. Thank you. I had uh, my friend Haley come over to the house and do a makeup uh, this morning. So she did it really good. And after this podcast, we're going to go have Mexican food, and I'm going in my makeup. So And I'm going like this. It'll be fun. Yeah. Yum. Uh, we have a fun little podcast for you. Uh, we're going to do all of the segments of this podcast. And that we're is- sorry we couldn't get Mike Wilmer. We really tried to get Mike Wilmer on the uh one year episode i sent him a dm and he didn't respond but he's you know he's busy so i didn't take that personal he knows we're here yeah he knows we're here for him and maybe on the maybe on the two-year podcast we can have mike wilmer as a guest that will be our goal yes that'll be our goal (laughs) dude if that happens i'll die oh my god i wonder if he knows about us i you know what he yeah he he he's gonna know mike wilmer made it um we're gonna do all the segments we also are just you know gonna take a trip down memory lane of this past year we know a lot of you guys have listened to every episode some of you guys haven't and that's okay so we're gonna take some of our most popular most memorable calls and replay those for you guys and we have some new calls and just what a fun day what a fun year it's been what a what a fast and busy year it's been huh Huh? what's going on here Wild. where are we wild i don't know half the time don't know Damn. anyway should we hop into the segs or yeah should we start with the dm of the day ski what's the dm for the day honey what's the dm for the day honey oh we'll tell you i love that maggie knows i love that being played twice i love it what's the dm for the day honey it's got to be played two times. It has it. If, if if it weren't annoying to you guys, I would want it played ten times, honestly. And you know what? <laughs> hey, it's the one year anniversary. Play that motherfucker ten times. Here we go. What's the DM for the day, honey? 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 
What's the DM for the day? Honey? Yeah! <laughs> it felt good, man. <laughs> My button was sticking. It almost wasn't playing. What's the DM for the Uh-oh. day? Oh, we got a lecture. We should make a tech oh, now. Yeah. Like, whoa, 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 what's a do? Like, some, yeah. like uh, some big build up. That's true. That's a good idea. We'll note that down for our for our, for our uh, team meeting. All right, so I've got a DM. Uh, I thought this was funny because I'm like, is he trying to be rude or is he is he not? I couldn't decide, so I'm gonna let you guys decide. Is he gaslighting you? Well, he may be a gaslighting narcissist. <laughs> 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 so it's a guy named Ray Peterson on Facebook. Elderly gentleman. And you know how we just went to Lake Tahoe? So I posted pictures on Facebook of, of, of us in Lake Tahoe, swimming and stuff. And he writes, I know you didn't spend much time in the water. I'm from there. And that water is a consistent 43 to 44 degrees. It's a good thing you had that extra layer of blubber around your big ass. Otherwise, you'd have hypothermia in no time. Nobody really goes in that water unless you've got a protective suit on. Anyways, glad you had fun. Holy. Well, good thing you had that protective suit on. <laughs> of obesity. <laughs> we were in that water, and we were in that water for hours. Hours. I loved it. I got in there first, and then Chelsea goes, I'm like, come on, Chelsea, and she took a couple steps, and then she goes, it's so cold, and I'm like, you're going to get used to it. No, I'm not, and then two minutes later, she's laying there and going underwater. You couldn't get me out of that. It was cold, but you get used to it. Yeah. My toes were numb the whole time, but... Felt great. Felt great. Okay, this guy said, Paige, yo, I'd fuck you so hard, I would even give Brett a hard on. (laughs) Whoa. So he's wanting Brett to watch. He's a cuck. Brett, yes or no on that? No. No? No, thanks. Okay. It'd make it shrivel up, I think. (laughs) But what if you... What if Paige is the other one... Oh, oh, daddy. That wouldn't turn you on? Nah. Okay. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> who, I wonder who writes that, though. I guess this guy. Yeah, a, a lot of people. I could never imagine myself just writing a guy and being like, hey, I'm going to suck your dick so hard your girlfriend's going to be wet. Whoa. I <laughs> know. Yeah, well, you know. Just we a guy thing. We don't judge around here. All right. Uh... <laughs> You know what it's time for? Get oh, your get your get your uh a lean with it rock with get it. Get your lean with it rock with it. Get your lean with it rock with it. Lean with it. Brett, stop it. Stop it. So sorry. I'm sorry I messed up. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, Brett, I'm so sorry. I forgot to add. As a special one-year pot anniversary, That's right. we're giving Brett two minutes. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I know. It's going to be a long, <laughs> long segment. It's going to be a long-ass two minutes for us. I just hope I just keep talking. Brett, kinda. you will. You always do. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're best at that. Yeah. So set it for two minutes. Damn, okay. this is weird. Hold on. Are we, are we ready? Brett, go ahead and lean forward. Okay, so last time we kind of touched based on Antarctica a little bit. Um, do find it pretty pretty interesting. Um, you know, all of our famous explorers like Magellan, Columbus, Ponce de Leon. You know, he was looking for the fountain of youth. But the only guy that went south to Antarctica was Admiral Byrd. And I will share on my uh, story, maybe even make a reel. I don't know. Probably talk about it on another uh yeah, it's lighting narcissist segment, but um, you know, Admiral Byrd, um, he had a video where he was talking about on the other side of Antarctica, there was a plateau 13,000 miles high. Oh, wait, 13,000 feet high, and uh, there's two, th- 2 million square miles of uh, plushness. So we definitely got to go check out Antarctica sometime. And then Columbus, that's kind of an interesting deal, too, because when Columbus you know, got there in 1492... And, you know, the Mayans, there's two million of them. And we're, we're saying that 200 conquistadors took over all those Mayans. I mean, I don't know if you've ever saw Apocalypto, but 
you know, a lot of those guys were pretty tough, and really there's no way 200 conquistadors could kill all those Mayans, I think. I think they went underground to all those underground cities. Uh, moving on, does anybody know how to log into the dark web? I'd like to know. Everybody says they can. I don't know. Um, <laughs> comets, I know I t- touched base on that. Remember when, uh, I'll, go, I'll get to that another time. Um, how can you be addicted to weed if you always forget to smoke? Okay. Um, the Great Wall of China, I always thought it was meant to keep their enemies out, but it kind of looks like how the wall was formed. It's meant to keep people in China in. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, blood seems to be a really big topic lately. You know, blood masks, you know, all this blood talk. Um, Adrenal Brad, a little bit. it's your dad. Time's up. Lean back. <laughs> you heard him, Brett. Lean back. <laughs> Thank you, Russ. Russ is in the studio, Woo! you guys. Thanks, Dad. Oh, whoa. Everyone, welcome Russ to the studio. My headphones just went completely out. I can't hear anything. Is Did my thing get turned off? <laughs> you got to be. slam the mic on the, the roadcaster. Nothing happened. Nothing. You have to be fucking kidding me. I literally cannot hear. You can't hear, hear anything? No. <laughs> nothing. I'll just play along with it. Why can't this podcast run smooth? Dude, we've been here for one year. And every episode, we have a TD. <laughs> Oh Nothing God. happened. You still can't hear? As soon as Russ walked back, it just went. Whoa. He didn't step over any lines or anything, any cords or anything. What about oh, if we plug okay. it? it? You just can? Came back. Oh, my God. What happened? I moved I just my pushed, headphones. I just pushed this little green oh, button. Oh, that's probably what it was. Yeah. But yours isn't on. You can hear? I can hear. Okay, oh, that's weird. That was strange. Whoa. Of course. Yeah, of course. This shit looks staged, but it's not. I probably <laughs> there's probably well, no other. I went to clap and my mic fell onto the. Okay, okay. Well, Maggie, this is gonna be the first time I ever say this. Do better. Okay. <laughs> oh, but I can't hear Maggie talking in the headphones. Can you? Yeah, I can. I can't even hear your mic. You can't hear me talk. No. What can you hear right now? <laughs> I well, I can hear you outside of my headphones. You think that's a problem? Can you hear now? Oh, now they're my head sets completely off. Okay. Now. Oh my god. Okay, now I can hear you. Can you now hear me? Good? Yeah, now I can hear everybody. Okay, well yeah. let's cool. just pray and hope for the best and try to get through this. Okay. Okay. Uh like I was saying, Russ is in the studio. Um if you guys don't know, Russ is Brett's dad and he is probably I would say the number one fan of the Valor podcast. You listen to every episode. We're not going to uh, have him on the pod right now in terms of uh, interviewing him just yet, uh, but we will. He's in the circle. And you guys, that's my daddy right there. That's all I want to say, okay? Biological father is all I want to say. Oh, he's coming after me. (laughs) He's going to come give you some. Let me bend over. I'm just kidding. Russ, I'm just joking with you. You know that, right? family friendly. We're just trying to get into heaven here, okay? All right. yeah. (laughs) Okay. Um, All right. Hey. Should I go into letters to Penthouse? You gotta. Let's do it. I hope you have a juicy one. Letters to Penthouse by Chelsea. And um, I know that, Russ, this is your favorite um, segment. So. And can we also say, for the one year, uh, Russ is actually the reason why we have the Letters to Penthouse segment, because he gifted Brett a Letters to Penthouse book, and then he's, he just wanted us to read it on here. And it worked out perfectly because people love it. Just to help the people. So thank you, Russ. You're really out there saving lives. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one is called <clears throat> In the Warmth of a Summer Eve, Fantasy Turns Easily into Reality. Everybody ready? <clears throat> one warm evening last summer, while I was sleeping nude with the window cracked, I could feel the warmth breeze across my body. I woke up and felt my sweet baby lying over me with his hand cupped over my mouth. Naturally, I was startled when I saw Craig's eyes and his raised eyebrows. I knew I was in for some fun. Suddenly, I felt other hands all over me. I looked at Craig as if to ask, What's going on? He whispered, 
I brought entertainment. I smiled with my eyes. My ankles were being pulled apart. And my wrist drawn to the upper corners of the bed. So I was spread eagled. Aren't you going to tie them? I said. Sure enough, they did. Not so tight, I said. And they loosened the ties. With Craig still lying over me, I had to guess that he'd brought two people with him. He removed his hands from my mouth and began kissing me gently. I felt hands all over me. Fingers were sliding in my pussy. Somebody was rubbing my nipples. Craig shoved his tongue further down my throat. Then he stood up beside the bed. Kiss her, he said. A beautiful woman was climbing over me. Her lips were so soft and moist, and we began gliding our tongues in and out of each other's mouths. Her fingers slid in my pussy, and my legs quivered. She slid her tongue down my nipples, then my stomach, then my clit. Craig watched. Come here, I said. I want to eat your cock. (laughs) He slid the tip gently over my lips and eased the head in. I moaned. Enjoying having my pussy eaten, while also satisfying my man. I looked past the woman and saw that Craig had brought one of his golf buddies. Tom winked at me, then buried his face in the beautiful woman's cunt. Her tongue thrusted harder in me as a result of her excitement. She slid her fingers deep in my pussy, then slid it in Craig's mouth. As always, you taste wonderful, baby, Craig said. The room smelled of sex. It was a dream come true. A cherished fantasy. The woman rolled on her back and played with herself. Fuck her, she said to Craig. Tom changed positions, and Craig slid his heart on in me. Oh, baby. I gurgled as it slid down my throat. Craig kissed the woman harder and harder. He grabbed a dildo and inserted it in her pussy. Tom sprayed cum on me. And Craig, he came inside me. Both the woman and I came, leaving deposits of cum on the bed. (laughs) The woman grabbed Craig's cock and said, Let me clean it for you. (laughs) Then began sucking it. Wouldn't you like to eat my cum out of my... Wouldn't you like to eat my cum out of Georgia? He said. I love eating cum, she said. and went to work on my cunt so eagerly that I felt myself advancing towards orgasm. Craig began to untie me. You've been a great sport, baby, he said. We kissed. Thanks, baby, I whispered. I love surprises, he smiled. Now I want to suck you, I said. And I did. The woman kept eating me until I screamed, No more! Tom took a hold of her, bent her over doggy style, and fucked her, giving her ass a good working over. Craig, he said, do it to Georgia. She's been a bad girl. Bend her over and fuck her ass. Craig flipped me around and pushed my ass onto his cock and fucked me. The woman and I started kissing. I'm coming, Tom, she moaned. All over your cock. Craig began massaging my clit. As I came, my juices dripped out. His cock throbbed in my ass. Tom and Craig moaned as they fucked our asses good and hard. (laughs) (laughs) 
When we recovered, the woman said, Hi, Georgia. I'm Lynn, Tom's girlfriend. Nice to meet you, I said, laughing. The others laughed too. Well, baby, I said. There's another fantasy realized. Tom and Lynn got dressed, thanking us as they left. We were alone. I love you, Craig, she whispered. What an evening. The end. Man, that story was all over the fucking place. There was a lot going on. I couldn't keep up with what was going on. I love that they say cunt. Oh, my God. Just so casually. So many words there. So many descriptions that I've never heard things being described that way. Lots of slides, too. Um, Russ, I would like to know, did that, did you get, start to get bricked up, or was that? Uh, that was way longer than I need. You know, I'm there in three minutes. He said that was longer than he needs. He's there in three minutes. The first, the first scene, I've never got that far in any scene. Oh, uh. I've never got that far in any scene. You know, I uh-huh. was, uh, I was done, you know, right away. So you you could have rubbed one out to that. Pardon? You could have rubbed one out yeah, to that. That's not my favorite. I've not seen that book. The only one I know is on the shelf. Okay. And uh, you know, the, the really good ones, you know, thirty yeah. seconds in and it's bedtime. You're, you're nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's amazing. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that, and I'm glad you could be here for that. We love you here at the podcast. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure glad you shared that with you. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for sharing it with us. Thank you. And um, <laughs> what did you say that one time? Like. I want to eat your cock. God, I can't even remember the shit that said. I can't even remember, dude. I know. <laughs> that was funny, though. Dude. It needs to be on a shirt. Like, I oh. need to eat your cock. Eat or, or, your yeah. cock. Did she say eat? She said eat your cock. Let me clean it, oh. she said. Oh, that one, too, was wild. Wild. Russell's I, going crazy over here. I love it. Letters to Plant House. I, I have to keep driving. Yeah. Gosh. All right. Great little segment there. Should we move on to the next, honey? Which yeah. one do? Two truths. Let's do Should it. We move on. Two to the truths, one lie. Oh, I love that little. Yeah, let's do it. You okay. want to go first, honey? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Justin Bieber was my first concert. I can play "You Were Meant for Me" by Jewel on guitar, or my ferret got out at um, show and tell. In school. Okay, so if you if you're if you're new here, we're doing two truths and a lie. So Paige just list just listed two truths and one lie, and I have to guess what the lie is. I'm gonna say Jewel on the guitar is true because that's too uh, specific. So that's true. So the lie is either Justin Bieber was your first concert or your ferret got out at at uh, at show and tell. Mm. Mm. God, for some reason, I'm thinking. Justin Bieber was not your first concert. Oh, God. (sighs) I'm going to guess the lie is your ferret got out at show and tell. The lie was I cannot play Jewel. You were meant for me. I thought you said you can play Jewel. Well, yeah, that's that was the lie, though. I really can't. <laughs> oh, I, see. Well, I always get confused every fucking time we do this. <laughs> this one is confusing. So you said you told me you can and you can't. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn, guess what? Got I, I lied. You lied and you got me. Yeah, because my ferret, I seriously took it to fourth grade show and tell. That motherfucker got out and we spent all the class time trying to get it. It was hopping everywhere. Damn. My okay. everyone was screaming. My teacher was freaking out. Screaming over a ferret. Calm down, lady. It was going wild. Wow. Aww. Jumping up like on freaking tearing everything apart. Did you get it? Did you get it? You got Contained. it? Yeah. He was frisky though. Wow. We had let him out in the front yard. His name was Roscoe. He'd take showers with me too. But we'd let him out in the front yard and he'd come scratch on the door when he wanted back in. I guess why I guess that's why people put uh ferrets up their buttholes. They just go wild. And they can go, like, super uh, small. Oh, yeah. But I don't know if they put ferrets in their butt hole. What do they put up there? I think you're thinking raccoons. What? Yeah. Nobody can put a raccoon in their butthole? No, they put ferrets in their butt. Shove a gerbil in your ass. It was a gerbil. That's what it was, gerbil. A hamster. Hamster. They're putting some sort of animal. Russ said that the human body... The butthole can get up to almost seven raccoons in your butthole. Two, two. Yeah. seven. <laughs> two. Racco- you can almost get two raccoons up your ass. Raccoons are the size of a small dog. 
That's how much your butthole can expand. And a raccoon, raccoon can, can get in there. Yeah. Wow. A raccoon can get into a four inch opening. Wow. Damn. Yeah. That's a lot. All right. Damn. All right, my turn. Everybody ready? Two of these are a truth. One is a lie. Okay. I used to work at Victoria's Secret. I don't like cabbage. I don't like nuts. Almonds, cashews, croissant, or uh, walnuts, stuff like that. So which one is the truth and what two are lies? Oh, I thought it was two truths, one lie. Yeah. So what? So Which one's the lie? You said you had two lies? No. <laughs> we need to cut this segment. Yeah. No, I love it. It's my favorite segment. No, I've got two truths and one lie. Okay. One of them is a lie. Which your, one is the lie? Your lie is you said you do not like cabbage because I know you love cabbage. Because you always say, oh, the cabbage in my roast at the end of it. I love to eat it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you look so mad. Yeah. She's right. You got me. It's hard to think of things you don't know. <laughs> it's hard to lie about it's, yourself. <laughs> it's very hard to lie. Yeah, but you got me. <laughs> get trivy. Get trivy, y'all. Uh, uh, get <clears throat> trivy. Get trivial. Oh, fuck me. Get uh, trivy. Get trivial. Oh, my God. I'm excited for this trivial. Beth got us all new trivial questions and, and, and redid the trivial wheel and everything. So we're ready to go. And if you don't know who Beth is after the full year, <laughs> it's Chelsea's younger sister. And yeah. she helps out a lot with the pod, getting us trivial. And she loves doing the game part of the pod. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she, thank you, Beth. Thank you, Biffy. Thank Are you, you ready, Beth. honeys? Yeah. Ready, Brett? I'm ready. <clears throat> Spin that wheel. Here we go. True or false, green? True or false? True. It, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, true here. or false. Trivial. No. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty good, Brett. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Number one question. The sum of all the numbers on a roulette wheel is 666, true or false? On a roulette wheel? Yeah, you, you add up all the numbers on there. True. I'm just going to say true. It's true. Wow. We have an applause? We have an applause. There you go. All right. Because we're trying to mark these that. out. That was cool. oh. I know Brett's not going to. Yeah, good oh, job, hey, Maggie. Thanks, Maggie. Good job, Maggie. Oh, and I'm just going to say, when we stayed in a hotel, me, Russ, and Brett stayed in a hotel a couple weeks ago, and our room number was 666. Whoa, yeah. Would you have stayed in your hotel room or dipped? <clears throat> well, usually hotels skip that. So, so the fa- they skip they like the room number. So yeah. the fact that your hotel had it. <sighs> Little sus. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm spinning the wheel. Here we go. The human body Audi, yellow. The human body Audi. <laughs> the human body Audi. Here we go. Question number two of trivial. What is the scientific name for windpipe? Um, is it like the voice box? The tri- the <laughs> tracheal tracheal the sci- Ooh, tracheal. That, are you right? Trachea <laughs> is. How do you say it? He's right. right. Trachea. <clears throat> Good job, babe. Just say it wrong. Tricky, y'all. Tricky. I go, Beth, don't make these hard. And she goes, this is going to be easy. You're going to be able to get them. <laughs> Talking about tracheas an now. <laughs> like, I know what a trachea is. <laughs> All right. Everybody ready? Here we go. Gen- general knowledge, purple. General knowledge, purple. Question number three of trivial. Okay. I purple. like this one. What element does the chemical symbol AU stand for? Is it, I'm just, does it start with an A? No. no. AU, AU, AU. Can you just tell us what it starts with, maybe? A G. Okay, granite. Gra- uh, I couldn't tell you. Dad? You How many me? letters? Four. He, he doesn't have a mic. Yeah, Brett, he doesn't have a mic, so don't ask him questions. Wait, four letters. They're just not going to be able to hear him, G. Brett. 
I have no idea. Graphite? Gold. <sighs> oh, duh. I should have known gold. It's okay. For Take four, it up with Beth. I get four and letters and a G and can't get it. And I will. And I just want to let y'all know this chocolate cake smells so fucking good. And it's buttercream. <sighs> oh, I'm oh, about yeah. to die. Fuck me. In. Spinning. Birth names. Orange. Birth names. You'll be good. Birth names. Question number four. We know her by Megan the Stallion, but what is her government name? I don't know. I have no idea. It says Megan Pete. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was going to be How like Stephanie. Yeah. What is uh, Marilyn Monroe's real name? Norma Jean. Got that right. Applause. Okay. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> if we get one wrong, he'll just give us another. <laughs> I know, until we get it right. Okay, you spin. You want to do one more? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Because I love trivial. Halloween! Yellow. Halloween! Here we go. What, excuse me, which sugary Halloween candy was originally called chicken feed? Candy corns. Correct. Nice. Ooh, 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 chicken ooh, feed? Oh, because, you know, corns. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever call it chicken feed? No, honey. I always called it candy corn. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Hell no, they're not. Those are disgusting. No, the ones that are nasty are the ones with the chocolate on the chocolate on the candy corn. Mm -mm. I didn't know they had that. Mm. Not good. You oh. don't like candy corn? No. Do you like circus peanuts? Hell no. Mm. I'm not a big candy person. I like sweets. I like cake and cookies, but like candy. You like danishes and shit. Exactly. I'll do some Reese's every now and then, but can't I can't just uh it's just gross. Not a big candy guy. You're a bodega gal. What's that? Uh I think bodega they have like it's a grocery store, oh, but I think they have like all the good pastries and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like. That's what I like. Okay, let's do one more trick. Okay. And then she got birth names. You wanna do you Spin another one? You want to do birth names? I'll spin again. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. P and C only. Paige and Chelsea only. Don't know what this means, but here we go. Blue. Alrighty. Paige, this is a question for you. Oh. Yeah. What position did Chelsea play in softball? First. She got he. Correct. Good job. I like Should that. Should we do a question for... No, I guess, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Chelsea, um, what type of oil did Paige use to get her dad's dick unstuck from his zipper? Oh, God. These are good. I bet people are screaming. Okay. Okay. You're not an oil person. You don't like oil on your skin or nothing. Lotion. I love oil. I don't like lotion. Okay. Well, didn't know that. <laughs> um. Oil? What type of oil do you carry around? She's always like, hey, Brett, where's my vitamin? E oil? Yeah. I did know that. <laughs> okay, it is vitamin E oil. Hey, Brett, thanks for the help. Yeah. Okay, I really appreciate that. You really helped me out there. No problem. You're welcome. I okay. still can't believe my dad's dick got stuck in a zipper. <sighs> if you don't know what we're talking about, you guys, go follow Paige on Instagram. Go look at her dad's dick in a zipper. And people always say, I can't believe that happened to his balls. No, it was the shaft. It was the dick shaft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the last time you saw that dick shaft and dick head is when you were spewing out of it. So you I hadn't know. seen it in, what, 27 years, 26 years? I went straight from the dick to the pussy to the tummy and then straight to the bathroom to get the zipper off. It all comes around. The world just, you keep coming around, you know. That was one of the worst things I've ever seen. <laughs> no, I bet it was cool. And Jerry goes, Dad actually has a big dick. <laughs> or Brett, yeah, I, I think Brett said it. I was just going to say that. It was quite mm. ominous. Wow. Or, mm. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'd love to go down memory lane with you guys. Is that is that okay? Hell yeah. <clears throat> I would love that. Yeah. I um. Do you guys remember... Um, the very first episode 
the very first episode. Remember when that girl called in and just asked us just a very blunt question? You guys remember that? Um, yep. And I think you guys know what it is, and I'm about to play it here. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. All right, you guys know the drill. You know what I'm going to ask you. Do you love to nut? Hmm? Do you love to just bust hard? Well, would you like to bust harder? Well, adamandeve.com is going to help you bust harder. Harder than you've ever busted. Bust down Tatiana. You guys, adamandeve.com, they've got everything you're going to need to help you and or your partner bust a nut. They have dildos, nipple clamps, cock rings, satisfier for your clit, and all types of gadgets and toys you need in your house your life and in your orifices you guys they're giving our podcast listeners 50 percent off any one item most items on the website and that's not all free shipping hey listen i don't know about you but i think that's a damn good deal so go to adamandeve.com select any one item and use code viral That's V-I-R-A-L. Hey, honeys. Please support our show by going to adamandeve.com and using code VIRAL for 50% off any one item plus free shipping. Happy nutting. Oh, yeah. You ready? Here we go. How do you suck dick? Whoa. Wait, what? One more time. How do you suck dick? (laughs) How do you suck dick? First off, I just want to say I love how she <laughs> called in. She didn't, um, hey, guys, uh, my name is, you know. No, she just straight up. She just straight up. <laughs> how do you suck dick? In call. And immediately. How do you suck dick? And she well, wants to get straight to the Yeah, point. she's not fucking. Not fucking around. I love that. So that was the very first episode. Mm, how do you suck dick? People will still comment. Mm, how do you suck dick? That's definitely one of my faves. Mm-hmm. Mm, how do you Agreed. suck dick? And we had another uh, crazy call the very first episode. You guys remember the chick who was pretending to be her grandpa's fiance? Yes. yes. I'm going to play it here. So I'm going to play the question, and then a lot of these have, like, our reactions, our initial reactions to that question. So here it is. The girl... Oh, dear Lord. Um, You good? I have a confession. Okay. I've been (laughs) pretending to be my grandpa's... Beyonce. Huh? So this is me disguising my voice over the phone talking to him as his fiance. Whoa. And it is very funny. Oh. And it is very disturbing. And it has gone way too far. Whoa. Because I don't know how to get out of it now because he's in love with this persona. And my partner knows about it. And she has laughed her ass off listening. And she has also participated. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. They have done. But uh, please give me some advice. Oh, <laughs> I have so many questions. Yes, they have dug themselves in a freaking hole. Like, no, like, I, <laughs> that's not enough information for me. I have so many questions. Well, they are saying their the grandpa's in, in love with that person. That person. Whoa. Okay. How did she? How did this get started? Yes. How does she talk sexual to her grandpa? Do they actually talk? Is it a Snapchat? Are you sending your grandpa pictures of your tits? All right. Doubt it. Hope not. Don't know. Won't judge. <laughs> and that's been one of my favorite moments of the pod. Yes. Of all 52 episodes is when you go, are you sending pictures of your tits to your grandpa? 
hope not. Wonder- yeah. So I uh, saw some messages too saying that on the first podcast that we called somebody or somebody called in and they were their name was Damien. <gasps> on I the didn't very even realize first that. Pod. Yeah. We've had a lot of messages saying that. Damien. I didn't even realize that. It's weird how that works out. Yeah. And it's also weird how I play these and it's our reaction on there, but we're not talking right now. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Or not talking during I kept it? thinking you were actually talking. I, I had to look over at you. I know. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. Uh, do you guys remember when the um, the guy called in and told us that his girlfriend was cheating on him with a taco truck owner? Yes. You remember that? Uh-huh. Well, let's recap. Here we go. Hey. Chelsea. <laughs> hey. What's up? I'm calling from Texas. Woohoo, Texas! Call me back and you talk to you. Oh. I need some advice. My boyfriend's cheating on me with a neighbor, and the neighbor, he's the uh, owner of a taco truck, food truck. He sells tacos, and I don't think that's fair because I work in the fields. So I'm more of a hard worker than he is. And I brought her from Mexico, and I paid for her coyote to bring her here, and she switched me up for for the neighbor just because he owns taco trucks, a little bitch. Mm. I hate her so much. I just want to, what should I do? Should I go try to get her back? Should I beat his ass or let it go? I need your help. Please call me back. Oh, honeys. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh, so, okay, I'm assuming it's your girlfriend. You said boyfriend, but maybe you got mixed up, honeys. Sounds like you're probably drinking. Yeah, I'm confused. Well, let's just go with his girlfriend He because he, he said he brought her over. Listen, okay, I'm not going to lie. I'd fuck a guy with a taco truck. <laughs> <laughs> Same. If I had the opportunity, Ooh, I'd do it. Yeah. Learn how to make tacos. <laughs> You said he's probably drunk. He sounds like he's been drinking. Well, you know, you know, maybe, maybe. Say it how you hear it. Maybe. I still think about that, about that guy. So I hope you're out there doing well. Hope you found, you know, it's been a year. Hope you've moved on and found a better woman. And, you know, I really, you know, wish you well, man. So. Sam, wish you well. This next recap, I am... Really excited to uh, play this recap. Oh, because, gosh. What is it? Well, this is where we got rock fuckers from. <sighs> I've never went back and listened, so I kind of am going to be surprised. Well, you're the one who said rock fucker. So listen to the recap. This is episode three. This is where we got rock fuckers from. This is what we call you guys. After this episode, I had a show, and I can't remember where I was maybe Vegas, this guy came up to me after and said, um, he, he said he listens to the podcast and he goes, Chelsea, I'm a rock fucker. And I said, was that you on the call? He goes, no, but I'm a rock fucker. So that's why we started calling you guys rock fuckers because of him. So this is that call. And, uh, I'm really excited to recap that. Here we go. Here we go. Funny sex story. So, um, when I was dating my first boyfriend, I was a virgin And one of the first few times we had sex, it was in the middle of the woods, in the middle of the summer, um, just in some tall grass out in the middle of a field. Um, So we're going to do it. Um, And he was very eager to get it going. So he just starts, you know, pounding away, but I didn't feel anything. So I was like, okay, he's his you know, penis is uh, between my leg and the rocks and the ground. And he's just going at it, dripping sweat all over my face. And I'm just like kind of embarrassed because I don't want to tell him. And he finishes and he goes to (laughs) pull the condom off and it is shredded, dude shredded he was literally fucking the ground so hard he shredded the whole condom so he freaks out thinking that he just finished inside of me so he literally drags me to the nearest grocery store to the pharmacy 
buys plan B and makes me take the plan B. Yeah. And I just took it and I said nothing else. And he still to this day does not know that he was fucking the ground the entire time. Oh. Yeah. So I thought that was funny, guys, to share with everyone my great story. So thanks. And I can't wait to hear the podcast. Bye, love you. Love, love you. you. Love you, dude. Thank you for sharing that That's story. Funny. Hold on. I would like to know what position they were in. So he thought they were fucking, but his dick was between her leg and the ground. It must have been like the sideways, the spooning position. But how are you gonna lose your virginity in that position? That's a rare. Usually they do missionary. Yeah. But it's like, how does, she said, oh, her thigh? Did she say thigh? She said leg. Oh. I don't know, maybe she said So thigh. he must have uh, missed the vagina and went underneath and was just, I guess, humping a rock. How oh, did, and how did he, what, How did on. he get off, dude? How did he not know is what I want to know. Sometimes I'll, like, yank on Brett's wee-wee without any lube and he says, that hurts. This guy's full on fucking rocks and nothing. Fucking gravel, dude. Fucking gravel and nothing. And what gets me is that was his first time having sex. So he yeah. thinks he lost his virginity to a vagina, but he lost it to a dirt road. And he's probably never had sex with another woman in his life. He's like, you know what? That was rough. Dude, and she didn't tell him. No, I would have said something. <laughs> I would have said something. But that's just me, you know? That's just me. I would have had to yeah. be like, rock fucker. <laughs> There it was. Rock oh fucker. Oh my gosh. That's weird to go back and hear that. Rock fucker. What episode was that? Episode three. Damn. Yeah. I think also once they started making all the social medias about the rock fuckers, mm-hmm. there's the rock fuckers made a dating site now. I know. And people are dating from it. <laughs> That is, can you imagine what type of people are on there? Cool ass people that are down to fuck and fuck rocks. That would be fun. Just going through their messages would be fun. I don't know exactly what it's called. Maybe rock fuckers dating group or something like that. But somebody posted in the rock fuckers group on Facebook that she met, she met a guy. She was posting screenshots and they're like actually dating now and in love. Because he posted in the rock fucker dating group that he just got off work or something. He posted a picture and she hit him up and they're dating and in love. Yeah, there's a couple of them dating. Wild. That's awesome. From Makes this us happy. podcast. Makes us happy. Oh, way happy. I love it. You guys are going to really uh, love the next recap. Um, I know you will, Paige. You, you've, you've brought this up to me in just out and about a few times. Oh, damn. You guys remember the... Uh, Rubber chicken guy? <gasps> yep. And we got a rubber chicken for the pod just because of this call right here. So this is a long story. Okay. Short. I once was on a date with somebody, some POF, plenty of fish, and I went by his house. So we were chilling, you know, getting in the action. And he, I noticed in the corner that they had this rubber chicken. So he tells me, I pick it up, I'm like, well, why is it so squishy, you know? Like, it, it sounded like they had water in it. So he's like, oh, me and my roommates like to play pranks on each other and like to fill up water and go squirt it on each other. I was like, um, mm-hmm. okay. Elementary shit. Cool, I guess. So he left the room a couple minutes later, and I can't stop thinking about this fucking chicken. So I pick up this chicken and I empty it out and it was literally fucking steaming all over the place. And I'm like, this dude is literally fucking this chicken. So that's my story. And it's pretty fucked up. Enjoy you guys' day and have a marvelous day. Bye. Thank you, honey. Thanks for calling in. Gosh, what is up with men and wanting to put their (laughs) semen everywhere? Dude, it Here's what gets me. He obviously had been coming in it and just letting the cum sit there, building up. Getting all crusty, a crusty chicken. He wanted a crispy chicken tender. <laughs> what a cream. <laughs> so, I still can't believe that guy was coming in it, the rubber chicken. And letting it sit there. I can never look at a rubber chicken the same. Look at it right there. You imagine just fucking that? Wild. Maybe. Maybe.
Could you imagine, though, like, ever even just looking at one and thinking of a normal rubber chicken anymore? Oh, no. I'll always think of a cum-filled chicken. This <laughs> podcast is ruining my, like, <laughs> the way I look at everything. Your normalcy. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. All right. Let's move on to episode eight. Do you guys remember the uh, wife that called in and uh, her husband does not wipe his ass? You guys remember that? Yes. Hmm. I know we may not want to recap, but I feel like we got it. Here we go. Hello. I just want to discuss um, marriage. I've been married for about eight years now. And as the years progress, um, some secrets come out. So... The other day, my husband tells me that he doesn't wipe his ass when he goes to the restroom. But, you know, <laughs> I I don't know why or how, what he does that makes it so that he doesn't have to do that in there. And there's not a mess. I don't know what he does. Um, but I found it funny because once he found out from me that I don't wash behind my ears in the shower, he was, like, disgusted. He <laughs> He's like, what? That is it. Why wouldn't you wash behind your ears? I just looked at him and I said, motherfucker, you don't wipe your ass. It's just crazy. <laughs> Marriage is crazy when you start to find out those little things about yourself. It's crazy. Just thought I would share that, like, make you guys laugh today. Yes, thank you, honey. Have honeys. a good day. Wow. Oh, I, love you. I don't think there's too many things you can do where you don't have to wipe your ass. You know, you got to be doing something really amazing and like, because I even have perfect tapers and I have to do at least two. (laughs) That one stuck with me because I don't understand how you don't wipe your asshole. Did I say something about scooting out of a booth at a restaurant? You did. You did. You said, you said, I don't want to go out in public because of people, yeah, scooting in and out of because every time from this call, if I go sit at a booth, I think of this guy every time. God. That's funny. Weird. That's hilarious. Wow. That one always stuck with me. I got a, We got a lot of DMs about that. Um, this one, this next one, I still, I mean, this has been how long ago? This is episode 13. I still get DMs about this. People uh, ask me about this one in real life. I'm not, I'm not even going to tell you what it is. I'm going to straight up, po- I'm going to straight up, uh, uh, y'all ready? Here we go. Hey, honey. Got a quick question here. My husband loves to smell my asshole, especially when I'm asleep and huh? don't notice it. I just wanted to ask you if you guys experienced it or um, help me figure out what to do. Thank you. Love you, honey. Oh, love Bye. You, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like the nicest lady. <laughs> she- Hold on. She wants to know if we've ever experienced this. <laughs> um, not yet. Not yet, ma'am. That was the episode when we when we had Libby on. Why did we say not yet? Like it's gonna happen. Well, we're still pretty young. You never know. Gosh. You never know. But her husband loved to smell her asshole, especially Ooh. while she was asleep. I I don't think there will ever be a time in my life where I think stuff like that smells good. <laughs> asshole and stuff no sometimes brett will go down and try to smell me when i stink and he'll be like i don't think you ever stink yeah it smells good but i would never try to go down and get in his ass if it stunk hell no god that's disgusting man i don't want to smell nobody's nothing nah all right we're gonna move on okay i will say this this next one I know we keep saying that all these are memorable. This is probably, out of every call that we've gotten, this is probably the craziest call that I think we've gotten. Does anybody want to take a gander on what it is? Was it the cat one? No. No. Is it a guy or a girl? Girl. Girl. Okay. Gosh, there's been so many freaking absurd calls. her friend used to do something. Oh, smell test. Y'all ready for this? Taste test. Taste test. You have never heard. Here we go. My coworker might have already called you guys and told you about this because she said she was going to. But if she hasn't, question for you. 
She was telling me today that before she goes on dates, her best friend will do a smell test and a taste test of her pussy. So, like, she'll be getting ready, and then she'll be like, okay, smell test. She'll smell her pussy. If it doesn't smell, she'll be like, okay, taste test. And her best friend will lick her pussy to make sure it doesn't taste funky no. before she goes oh. and gets railed by whatever dude. No. Um, I've never done this, and I've never heard of anyone who's done this. But, yeah, I was pretty, uh, pretty shocked. I'm just curious if either of you guys have ever heard about this because it's it's new to me i mean i think it's a very kind gesture as a friend but that's crossing the line anyways i know you guys always talk about licking each other that each other's assholes so kind of reminded me anyways love you both oh yeah holy Holy shit (laughs) holy shit chelsea i'm in disbelief I would lie to you and be like, hey, I'm going out. Can you lick my pussy? <laughs> Just in case. Dead. We, Dead. Yeah, we got in trouble for that one. Well, no, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't. But the one of the callers did or the girlfriend did or somebody. Yeah. They were all pumped about calling in because we had more questions. But then the boyfriend found out was not happy. Yeah. So I wonder how they're doing. I bet it's like 50-50 on guys, like, on if they would care or not if yeah. if their partner licked their friend's pussy to go out. I don't feel like they, I don't know if they would care, but if, to me I'd be like, huh? What you doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be like pissed, but I'd be like, you good? Yeah. So... And I think we mentioned that it's not going to stay clean after you leave the house. It'll be stinking by the time you get to the fucking car. So you're licking for nothing. (laughs) You're licking for nothing. Free licks. You're getting free licks. You know what I mean? So, all right. This next one is kind of a most, is kind of a recent one. um, But we say this all the time. Remember the guy who called in and uh, said, uh, his girlfriend called in and said that um, he uh, said the word squirrel weird. Skill. You guys ready? Here we go. Hey, honeys. Super shy one here. Feeling sick to my stomach making this call, but that's how much I love you guys. I just wanted to call in to let you guys know that Paige, you weren't the only one who was uh, mispronouncing the the word squirrel. I have a boyfriend who was imported from Italy at the age of 18, so he has a pretty heavy Italian accent. Um, He can't pronounce the word now, but... uh, uh, about 10 years ago when we were first hanging out, he was definitely butchering the word. So, babes, tell everyone how you used to pronounce the word squirrel for a quick. Squirrel. <laughs> Pretty bad, right? But uh, give us another sentence with the word squirrel. Uh, I like the sentence you created. I watched the squirrel run across the street to buttfuck the neighbor's hamsters. <laughs> That's perfect. The fact that she was like, that's, that's perfect. perfect. Good job, <laughs> dude. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. We still need to make that a sound bite. Squirrel. Squirrel. I Good was so time. self-conscious about that thing. The way you said squirrel? Yeah, when I used to say skill. Yeah. Just some words you can't say. You obviously don't like to say them. Right. Squirrel. Squirrel. Good Real. times. Oh, Good times. you know how we were just talking about free licks? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the place that says free smells on it? There's like a, a glowy sign in the window that says free smells. Is that Jimmy John's? Or I thought, is it uh, the donut place? I don't know. I want to go take a picture by it and pull down my pants and then hmm. have it say free smells. Let's go do it. Where is it? We'll Google it. Free okay. smells. That's got to be somewhere. Where is it? Yeah, we'll find it. Jimmy John's. Is it? It is Jimmy John's? Mm-hmm. We'll find it. Yeah. We're looking for a Jimmy John's. <laughs> Google nearest Jimmy John's. <laughs> Good times. Um, Squirrel. I got one more for us. And the dude, this, okay. Out of all the dudes that have called into this podcast, in my opinion, this next guy is without a doubt the coolest dude to ever call in. And Maggie's reaction is my favorite. I want to hear. So is everybody ready? This is the last recap I've got. Here we go. Coolest dude that listens to the pod right here. 
Hey, honey's weed grower here. I just wanted to let you know, I fucking love eating pussy. I fucking love sucking on clips. I fucking love fingering the holes. I fucking love sucking on an asshole. It gets me off so fucking hard. Any girl that I hook up with, I go straight fucking down and eat that fucking pussy until her legs hit the fucking ceiling. Half time these fucking girls have to push me off their fucking pussy because I'm like a fucking animal in there. Oh. <laughs> All right, ladies. Just want to say I fucking love you. I've listened to every fucking episode of your podcast. I've watched every fucking book thing you guys have. You guys are fucking amazing. Thank you for making my life just that much better. Oh, yeah. Fuck me. Way to start the pod. He just made me horny as fuck. Give him my phone number. (laughs) (laughs) Give him my phone number. I love it. So there's our little one-year recap, punnies. I loved the guy, too, that was like, I'm a Wookiee. Or whatever, and he'd go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah! There was a lot. There, there was a lot in there. There's too many to play them all. Honestly, way too many memorable moments for real. Because I feel like every fucking calls. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. So we had a lot well, of calls. The fact we can connect with all these calls with the listeners just mm-hmm. makes it so much better. Yeah. We like speak our own language. For real. I love it. Some rock fucker lingo. Yeah. So we have some some new questions from you guys. And if I'm ready, if you're ready, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Let go. How do you suck dick? Wrong. <laughs> How do you suck dick? Oh, yeah. Oh, what yeah. What's going on? All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Hey, honey. Um... OG fan here, OG rock fucker here. Um, I see y'all were asking about our opinions of the viral podcast since it's been a year now, which is crazy. Um, yeah, I've been listening to every episode and I I love it. Um, man, it's what I look forward to some days. Gotten me through some really uh, rough parts and some dark days and. Uh, me and my husband are going through infertility and IVF and all that and um, going to the infertility clinic. So it's kind of a long drive, and I always put you guys on um, on the way there. It just kind of brightens me up. And, man, I love you guys. It cracks me up. Keep it coming. Love the merch. Oh, my gosh. I It was hard for me not to buy every single shirt. Um but keep it up. I definitely love you guys. You're doing great, and you're looking good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, honeys. Thank you so much. Good luck. Good luck with, you know, getting pregnant and having a baby. You guys got this. Be safe on your trips. Um, we got some, uh, you guys have been loving the merch, but we also been working on some new merch for Christmas, so get ready for that. Yeah, that will all be out soon. Yeah. When should we announce, th- when should that drop? Well, think? let's, probably a few weeks, probably another month or so. We're still working on designs and stuff. Yeah. But but soon, you know, we'll, you guys know we'll announce it. Mm-hmm. So, Yeah, thank, thank you. you for being here for one year. Yeah. Gosh. Love you. I can't get that through my head. I know. I know. Love you. Love thank you, you honey. so much. Hey, honeys. So, listen up. I am actually very excited to tell you about this. Um, because if you follow me on Instagram, I actually posted about this on my stories months ago, probably six months ago. Okay. So when they reached out to work with us here on the viral podcast, I legit was stoked. I was like, I've been using that product for a while now. Um, now let me tell you about, uh, AG one here. Now, listen, hold up. If you're watching right now, I know it looks a little you know, looks a little sketch. It looks like, oh, that's going to be nasty. You guys, the taste is wonderful. Here's the deal, okay? You guys know I got gut issues, all right? Them shrimps be singing constantly, all right? This takes place of my probiotics, all my vitamins. When I was on tour for the, the first part of tour last year, I took a big bat, bag of vitamins with me. That shit gets annoying to carry around. Dude, I have literally started taking AG1. Um, it's like a powder I just put in water. It's compact. It doesn't take up a lot of room when I travel. And listen, 
I'm not going to lie to you. I want you to trust me here. Look, sketch, tastes good. Okay? Smells fruity almost. Like a fruit, like a like a fruit basket. You know when you walk into someone's house and like they have a fruit basket set in there and you're like, mm, that smells good. This is exactly what it what it tastes like and smells like. Mmm. All right. So you're probably wondering, okay, Chelsea, what is this stuff? With one delicious scoop, you're getting 75, that's right, 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics, and adaptogens to help start your day off the right way. This is going to help with your nervous system, gut health, immune system, aging, focus, energy, and just all the things. I've been using it every morning. I just take a scoop um, with some water and it's really easy and quick to get down. It costs you less than $3 a day. Listen, you're investing in your health and that's cheaper than your cold brew habit. So do better. And it contains less than one gram of sugar. No GMOs, no nasty chemicals or artificial anything while still tasting great. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash viral. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash viral to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Hi, honeys. Um, Colin, um, I have a question. Uh, I have a mommy fetish, and um, it's very... <clears throat> like normal for a girl to have a daddy fetish but i don't ever well i do on porn but guys don't ever come out and say you know they have a mommy fetish like uh me and my girlfriend are fucking i like her to you know say you like mommy's pussy and uh you like it when mommy sucks your cock and all that kind of stuff so i'm just calling and asking you know is it you know um not normal, but is it? Does other people do it? Uh, not just only one, uh, like bread or, you know. So anyway, just calling, asking that, kind of a confession. Anyway, thanks, honeys. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Thank you for calling in with that confession, honeys. Yeah, why is it seem it seems more normal to say daddy than mommy? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. I feel like, you know, I feel like everything's okay if pe- two people, you know, enjoy it and it's consenting and all that shit. But like, um, Brett, so I'm going to ask you a question, so I'm going to need you to lean forward for a minute. Yeah. So let's say, be honest, you and Paige are fucking. Right. If she goes, oh yeah, fuck mommy's pussy, would that be a turn on or would you be like, ah, which one? Be honest. I uh, I mean yeah whatever uh, yeah at all yeah an image wouldn't an image of your mom wouldn't pop up in your head if I said oh do you like when mommy sucks on your dick yeah it's just kind of not the same you know oh, as oh. the daddy you know oh just, so you don't like the mommy no no really so you'd be turned off I wouldn't be turned off but I would just say not uh, you're not into it I'd prefer daddy maybe okay mommy. Yeah, I don't see that there is a lot of, you know, men and women like the whole daddy thing, you know, but the mommy thing, if you're into it, you're into it, man. Yeah, there's no coming back. Maggie, let's say you're fucking a guy and he's like, you know, he goes, he says something like, uh, can I milk mommy's titties? (laughs) (laughs) What are you doing? I would be into it if that's what he was into. See, I, I feel the same, like. You it's know. not a big deal. I feel like it's like 50-50. Yeah. Maybe not an every timer for me. I'm not going to be mommy every time, but yeah. I'll step in when I need yeah. to. 
why is that a sexual thing? The whole mommy and daddy thing? Because I understand like people who have been sexually abused or whatever, or people that haven't been and they just think that that's gross. I can understand that side. Mm -hmm. It is a little weird. At the same time, I can understand the the sexual, the hotness of that. It's weird. It's But it's like, do these guys get off thinking like, what are they thinking? Like, what? turns them on are they actually thinking about their mom doubt it doubt it no i doubt it I hope. no that no if you go oh yeah daddy fuck me are you thinking about your dad no you're thinking about your daddy that's right in front of you fucking you you know what i mean there's a difference yeah there's it's different but it's still a little weird but, you know, weird shit makes us nut. What are you going to do? Just nut. Exactly. Just nut on them. Exactly. Yeah, I almost need Paige to be quiet sometimes so I don't nut. You know? Oh, yeah. Because anything she says, I'll probably just Yeah, that's, Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, he's pushing the one minute mark on common lately. Brett. That was one time, and I hadn't seen her since Tahoe. Couple times. Uh, one time. Brett, come on, man. Do better. Two times. Plus, it was real early. I was all crusty. You know, it kind of more felt bad for her. You know, plus I thought she'd be flattered. That Brett, was, go, ahead so lean, quick. go ahead and lean back for us. I'm not flattered when I don't get the, what I need. She's so hot. She was excited to come home and nut and want to let you know that. She even said something to me about it. Oh, yeah. I was ready the night before. I was big steel, you know, ready to mm-hmm. go. And then in the morning, I was a little sensitive. Hold on. I thought we were going to fuck all night. Hold on. We're sitting here talking about this. Russ is in the corner. Hey, Russ is in the corner pointing at himself, mouthing, my fault. My fault. Why? Hold on. Give my... Th- Why is that your fault? Talking to the mic. I came down the hall at the wrong time. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Did. did you hear him fucking? I cock blocked him. Oh, he called my ass when I was right... Getting ready to put it in. He I was looking for a weed pen, and my, I knew they needed to bone, but the weed was just more important. <laughs> I he knew they Brett needed. And he goes, yeah. "Do you have one of the pens?" And then Brett's boner went. <laughs> and he goes, "Yeah, Dad, I'll bring it to you." <laughs> and I knew it, and I just couldn't go without it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's just I wow. put weed in front of my two most important people's happiness. Yeah. Russ, I do not, I don't see, I mean, I'm shocked that you cock blocked. I really am. That you chose weed over a nut. I'm shocked. The power of weed. Wow. Okay. They were so horny, I knew that they'd get it done. (laughs) But I was two hours late. You know, it really is three o'clock. I misread the room. I cannot wait to have Russ on a full episode. I needed the weed pen. I cannot, (laughs) Russ, I cannot wait. Okay, oh. he said he's gonna be quiet. This is okay. We want, but I want you to talk. But we're gonna have you on a full episode. So there's reasons we can't have him on right now. Well, let's just say that, and we'll move on, and then we'll, you know, we'll get back to we'll that. get back to you on that. Okay, but you are number one on my list to have on this podcast. I kind of want to hit at the weed pen right now. Yeah, halfway through the one year. All right, hit it. Why not? Somebody's giving you a pen. Do you Here want one too for the one year? No, I'll die. Give her the black one, Dad. Uh, blinker challenge. Here we go. Yeah, yeah you can walk through. Blinker. Here we go. I think people should be able to see you <coughs> high for the one year. You know what it would be? Me doing this. <laughs> Just sitting there in fear. <laughs> the whole time and me going, somebody call 911. <laughs> no, that's all it would be. I'm not kidding. Don't do it. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. No, Just Russ. It. Just hold it. And I especially can't. not from Russ because you guys all know what happened the last time we smoked weed with that's Russ. Right. I'm not taking any pins from Russ. Hell no. Russ smokes that hard shit. Lord. All right. Love you, Mommy. We love you. Our, your mommies love you. Thank you for calling in. Hey, honeys. Curious girl here. So um, a few months ago, I, I'm an old hoe, right? I've been the old hoe. And I've always only been into dudes, but very recently I've been more curious about girls. So I've never even kissed a girl before this. Um, so I went, I went onto the Tinders, 
And I found a couple because I thought if I hate eating pussy, I at least want there to be some dick there, right? So I met this couple. We started talking, got it all, you know, got met in person. We're having some drinks. And we're having, like, a good time, you know. And all of a sudden, the wife, she says something about circle fucking. And it took me a minute, and I was like, do you listen to the viral podcast? And she goes, oh, my God, are you a rock fucker? And we screamed. So needless to say, the night went off super well and ended up having a threesome with her and her husband. And now we're best friends. And I eat her pussy all the time. And it's great. So, um, uh, yeah, if this ends up on an a- episode, Ashley, I love your pussy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> Gosh. Nothing made me happier than what I just heard. Ashley, I love your pussy. She must have a good taste in pussy. I just never thought that this would happen. The connections, you know, and the, the fact that she was like, are you a rock fucker? And she, dude, wild. Wow. I, I wonder ever if like this happens again, if the people were like just more wanting to fuck and dip. But it's like, if you're a rock fucker and they're a rock fucker, I mean, you're kind of... You're sticking around in fucking rocks. You're just going to keep fucking rocks. Gravel, pebbles, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, big rocks, you know, whatever. You're fucking a rock. If you're two rock fuckers, y'all got to stay stay tight-knit. Stay tight-knit. Tight no, that makes me happy. No erosion. None. Wow. I Interesting. Wonder, I wonder if the guy makes her calm. I mean... You know, I bet he's a cool dude. He goes, Ashley, <laughs> lick your friend's pussy. Ashley, get over there and lick your friend's pussy. Wow. I love it. Thank you for calling in. I love hearing shit like that. Whoa. Here we go. I was going to say you guys should do like a rock fucker dating show, like love connection. Chuck Woolery sh- stuff. Like an actual, yeah. <clears throat> we'll write yeah. that down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Writing it down. All right, here we go. Hey, honey, it's me here. So I'm calling because I've been having an issue, I guess, with comparing myself and being envious of people. Um, So basically, I should go back a year ago. So I wanted to start my own Etsy shop and do some crafts and start selling, and I was all pumped to do it, and I don't know why I didn't. And someone close to me uh, basically did the same thing just on their own, started making crafts and selling. And they were really successful, and they still are. They, their social media is, you know, whatever. Um, so basically my issue is now I'm uh, comparing myself constantly. I'm constantly checking on her, you know, Facebook. Um, you know, I get upset. I get so down sometimes that I can't even, like, create my own stuff because I'm you know, so busy comparing, and it's just become really unhealthy. So my question is, um, do you ever have issues comparing yourself to people or being jealous? And if you do, how do you cope with that? And how do you recommend I just focus on myself? Thanks, honeys. Mm, honeys. That's a good one. Great question. I feel like this is probably common. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was actually talking to a friend couple weeks ago on our Tahoe trip and she was just like trying to figure out just she was in a little rut like who am I like what should I do next just because you know she was part of the show the show was canceled and so just kind of hard times and she loves fashion and doing her makeup and all that so I'm like you should just do that like share that with everybody you're beautiful that's what you love to do and she's like yeah, but I just feel like everybody does that. But it just doesn't matter because anything you do, there's going to be so many people also doing that. And you're so different from all those people. So just be yourself and do what you <clears throat> love and post it. And people will love you for who you are. Mm-hmm. Just put your own twist on it and be yourself and just do it. Exactly. And I feel like <clears throat> for uh, this uh, honey's calling in specifically and anyone else listening, it's very hard to shine on your own 
when you're pointing all your light at other people. Does that make sense? I know that sounded a little cheesy, but... Yeah, don't even give them your time or energy. Well, it's hard to focus on yourself and and do, you know, when, when you're constantly spending energy and time looking at what other people are doing. And here's the thing. There's always going to be someone doing better than you, looking better than you, feeling what i mean there's always gonna be someone to you know always everywhere you go everywhere you look everything you do it doesn't matter what you're doing what you're it there's always gonna be someone doing better always you can't focus on on that and i'm a firm believer in like you for the most part live your life and and feel how you feel about things is a choice you know what i mean so you literally are gonna have to choose to not focus on that or just change your attitude and just be happy. That's what I'm for, saying. Choose that. Yeah, choose to just be happy for those other people doing crafts and doing what they love and do what you love. Put the time and the energy that you're putting on lurking on her, thinking about her, comparing her. Put that into what you're doing, and you, I mean that's gonna be a that's gonna be a shift right there, and just your happiness. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Because I've thought of this, too, like, oh, the crafts, the fashion, like, everyone's doing that. And then I I thought, you know what? Like, my style's different than anybody else's. and Your so, own personality yeah. puts a spin on uh-huh. it? So it's, so I just went for it. But even with the fake falls, when I started that, other people were also doing falls, probably, and, mm-hmm. you know, prat falls, stunts. Yeah. But just fucking do it just wake up every day and be like you know what i'm gonna focus on myself and nobody else and i'm gonna do the work i need to do to get this going i'm gonna do what makes me happy and i'm just gonna focus on that make a choice every day and everything will just fall into place yep good luck honeys we love you hey honeys got a request here So I love that Todd and Damien are little sluts and they fuck everybody that we call and ask you to or write in the comments. Um, Anybody we ask, y'all do it. So I have a request. I was wondering if one of them could fuck Chelsea's Greg voice. Um, I cannot get through any segment that has (laughs) Greg's voice in it that Chelsea does because I have to rewind and listen to it over and over because I just start cackling when I hear her do his voice i absolutely love it and i really want to hear him fuck todd or damien and the reason i'm saying one of them is i know it's a lot of work for one person to do his greg voice and then the todd voice but like greg's voice is always sensitive to me and i feel like todd would just fucking give it to him and rock his world but i also feel like damien is very considerate he's a considerate lover and that's kind of what sensitive greg needs so i would absolutely Love to hear that on the pod. Thank y'all so much. Love you. Hope you'll have a great day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you. Love you, honeys. Gosh, my Greg voice. What do I, how do I do my Greg voice? This call is so awesome. Um, the thing with the Greg voice is I don't do it all the time. I just do it when I'm literally thinking. Of I think Greg's your voice. Greg voice is just, but, well, <laughs> wait, what do you mean? Yeah. Okay, yeah. something like that. Yeah, something like that. And then. I okay. think that's what she's talking Damon's, about, right? Damien's really giving it to you, and you okay. can't take it. Too so long. you're going to be fucking me in my Greg voice. Okay? Oh, boy. Okay. okay. Should I start? I mean, should I kind of... Uh, whoa! I, I feel something back there. What is that? Me. Yeah, who's me? Look. I don't want to... Fi- who is that? Uh, I feel Damien. a finger up my butthole. Damien. Oh, uh, Damien? Who are you? I'm your best friend. Oh my god, I feel like I'm getting fucked. Uh, Who is that? I told you, Damien. <laughs> all right, that's all I can do. That's all I can do. Because <laughs> that's you my do a masculine Greg. Like... I don't know how to do masculine Greg. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry about you. I couldn't even get my nut. You didn't get your nut because Greg was like, "Who's back there? What are you doing?" <laughs> too many questions. Way too many questions for a nut. <laughs> Wow. It'd be like that sometimes. Should we do a regular uh, Todd and Damien fucking somebody? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, uh, Who should we fuck? uh, Who is that? Me. (laughs) 
somebody's, oh, God, somebody's fucking me. Remember me. Oh, my God. Are you, Damien, is that you? Look around. Oh, my God, who is that? Hello. Oh, my God. Damien, it is you. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, my God, you have your big cock in me. Mm, so oh, tight. Oh, my God, I have a tight pussy. So perpendicular. Oh, oh my God, uh, Damien, I'm going to come. Uh, are you going to mm, come, too, at the same time? Coming. Oh, here we go. Mm. Oh, oh. Thank you. Damien always says thank you after. So polite. Great guy. Cool guy. Wow. <laughs> cool okay. guy. Hope you enjoyed that, honeys. I love that Russ is just sitting in here just looking at us do that. Wow. All right. <laughs> oh, my. He's good, raising the roof. Good times. Raising the roof. Here we go. All right, listeners. You know that we love to stay fresh. Even though sometimes we may not get that not-so-fresh feeling, I'll tell you what is always fresh. Our meal kits. With HelloFresh, you get farm-fresh, pre-portioned ingredients. And seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Listen, we have a lot going on. Everybody's busy. Everybody's stressed. Cut some of that out. Save yourself a grocery store trip. And save yourself the cleanup. That's a big reason for me right there. They got me. I do not like cleaning up. All right, you guys, fall is here. Changing seasons means changing tastes. And with more than 30 weekly recipes to choose from, HelloFresh is going to have something for you. And now HelloFresh is offering vegan recipes each week. We love HelloFresh, we use HelloFresh, and now you can too because we got an offer for you. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Viral65 and use code Viral65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Viral65 and use code Viral65 for 65% off plus free free shipping and you guys please tag us and all of the meals you're making i want to see america's number one meal kit hey how y'all doing so i got a story for you i was horny found a dude to you know fuck on i don't know grinder or something and so i showed up at his place and i was kind of getting a weird back at first he said he's a cat but i think he was just infatuated by cats so i got there of course he has two cats so whatever you know we were chilling, and we got to the fucking and everything. And then all of a sudden, he started, like, acting like a cat. Like, he pulled up his hands up to his, his chest, like how a cat would if it's on his back. And he curled up his, his hands like a fist, how a cat would, you know, because they're paws. I don't know. And um, he just started licking his hand how a cat would if they're, if they're cleaning themselves. And I thought, okay, well, that's a little strange. And I guess maybe he's into some bestiality. I don't, I don't fucking know. And so uh, uh, I just continued. And then all of a sudden he goes, meow. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I was saying, okay, just just go with it. But he just started doing mannerisms of cats and everything as I was, you know, doing my thing. And I just thought, damn, this is so hilarious. Like, I got to call the Viral Podcast and tell them because, shit, it's like I'm fucking a cat, although I'm not really into that. And um, so when we finished, you know, at the end I was like, so uh, uh, what's up with the cat thing? You know, is that a kink of yours or something or what? And he goes, yeah, I'm a cat. And I go, okay. Okay, you know, I, I don't judge. I mean, you do you. But, I mean, honestly, it's kind of a turn off for me. Um, but, but you know what? I just thought it was so freaking funny that I just had to tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much fucked a man cat. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all have a good day. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah. Bye, little boys and girls. Huh? Oh, oh. oh, threw that one in there. Took a turn. Uh... He fucked a man cat. Which is weirder? Whoa. Fucking a man cat or fucking Pillsbury Doughboy lover? That's a great question. I would say fucking Pillsbury is maybe a little <laughs> different. Y'all, I don't know. I know. Shit. I know. They're that, both weird. That one got me. <laughs> um, That'd be a lot for me. I would, I would go through with it and just <laughs> probably delete. <laughs> Or ghost. Blocked you. Maggie. So here's here's what I've discovered on this pod. We would all pretty much go through with fucking just about <laughs> anything and anyone. 
<laughs> but maybe not returning. Yeah. Not, yeah. No we'll re- go, yeah. No refunds. Yeah. But that's a lot. Golly. But I think that's actually normal. Like, I, you've seen those, like, TLC shows. People are just, you know, fucking their cars and stuff, so. Grr, baby. Yeah. He didn't tell him beforehand because he knew he probably wouldn't show up. He yeah. told him he liked cats, but the guy thought maybe he just had a couple cats. Yeah. Not, he was a cat. Right. I mean, he's pretty certain he's a cat. Wow. He said, I am a cat. Cool guy. What about fucking it? Cool cat. It, Doughboy, or uh, fucking a cat? Yeah, we, we talked about Brett several years ago for Halloween. Paige dressed up as it, and Clip. Brett fucked her. I don't understand how he did that. And you nutted. Mm-hmm. Wow. He could stay hard for me dressed up as it, but he couldn't stay hard. Going and running rust the weed pen and coming back. <laughs> wow. No, I was on the phone with them for like a couple of minutes, remember? I was trying yeah. to... Yeah. You couldn't get it back up? Well, yeah, I was I was wanting to go at it again, but she was like, nope. Oh, you were it's done. time for bed. It's late. Yeah. Okay. And then I was, you know, pretty sensitive in the morning. Cause, Russ know, wants the mic. Yeah. Oh, hey, Dad. We were already two hours late at the airport. Oh, yeah, that's... We, we, are, we, yeah, we yeah. talked about that last episode. Yeah. Yeah, yeah thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brett goes, oh, hey, Dad. <laughs> wow. Was, was Brett turning left at the airport? <laughs> that was like, I had about 100 messages saying that. Brett loves turning left. At airports. That's kind of why I didn't want to get there too early. Chelsea said, turns. Brett should have been here waiting. <laughs> yeah. Turning left. But if I would have been there early, I'd have been in the, you know, the crash. Yeah, you said that, but who okay. knows? Ooh, yeah. So, okay. You already said that so. last episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on from Catboy. Hey, honey. Um, just wanted to let you guys know your podcast has literally gotten me through so many things. I've been watching you every week. I am a new mom, so dealing with postpartum a little bit, and it's just something that really gets me through the day, and I just wanted to say how much I love you guys. And I just want you to know that this podcast really has a huge impact on a lot of people. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Love you. Bye. Oh, honeys. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you start feeling better. Um, and thank you for listening. I'm glad, you know, for an hour a week, you're able to, you know, get away from those feelings and stuff. So, yeah. Damn. But congratulations on the baby, honey. So we do hope you get to feeling better. Thank you for the support. I, I just can't believe people listen to us fucking talk. So <laughs> I just can't believe babies. Babies. That would be so much hard work. Yeah. And I people know. really do struggle. And I'm surprised I'm like kind of just hearing about that. Really? Like postpartum and all mm-hmm. that, you know? Oh, yeah. Because it's such a big deal. Yeah. Oh, it's very common. How long does postpartum last for? I have no idea. It can last for years. Years. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. Years. Since you're, uh, most women, it goes away uh, in three to five days. Uh, what? Yeah. No. No. It says right here. Well, Google's lying. It says, what does the term postpartum mean? It means the time after childbirth. We're talking about postpartum depression, not postpartum. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, postpartum depression. Postpartum is just mean you had a baby. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm nine months postpartum. I had my baby nine months ago. Yeah. I'm, 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 I might be wrong. Yeah, it says here you get, uh, for many women, the baby blues, which I guess is postpartum depression, goes away in three to five days. I don't know. Whoa. That's most, uh, that, I guess. But. I don't know. That's. Maybe we're talking about something. I don't know. Maybe we, yeah. Well, my friend told me she's like, you know, she told me she was struggling with that and. She was just saying, like, it needs to be talked about way more. So she's always sharing stuff on her story. But Aww. it's just, I've, you know, we've never experienced it. But it's I wish I like, knew more. Yeah. Yeah. It's just sad that, you know, you're having a kid and have to deal with all that. And you don't get any freaking sleep. Did you get yeah. it, Maggie? Was part of um, A little bit with Lola, just because it was a shock. Yeah, You know, it's your first kid. It's like, what do I do with this thing? You know, yeah. your life's just completely changed. And yeah. Your, the, your body goes, like, you know, that's like a, yeah. 
your body, you know, to have being pregnant and having a bit. Yeah. And so. you have to just sacrifice so much of all you care for is them. Mm-hmm. It's like you stop caring for yourself. They're taking all your nutrients. Right. Damn kids. These damn kids. Oh, honeys, thank you for calling in. Thank you for your support. We love you. Yes, we love you, honeys. Um, this is actually the last call. So did you guys want to talk about anything else? No. After the last call. I say after the last call, we're gonna we're okay. gonna pop open this cake that I've been eyeing the whole time. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Sonny's. Um, I have been listening to y'all since the beginning of the podcast and cannot believe that you guys are hitting one year. You guys have accomplished so much and literally getting emotional talking about this right now. You guys are like such an inspiration because I love how you guys just don't give a fuck about what people think. And honestly, it has inspired me. I, I listen to you all every morning when I'm walking my dogs. And, yeah, you just bring light into the world and make it a better place. Um, man, I, I mean, I've heard some shit on the podcast that I never thought I'd hear in my life, and Same. I love it. Same. Um, y'all are great. Um, thank you. And, uh, yeah, I'm not calling for my car here. So, uh, Brett, you know, lean back. Maggie, thanks for all you do. Biffy, Beth, thanks for all you do for the podcast, too, and everybody else, and Greg and the Littles. Um, y'all are great. Jerry, even. Shoot, Russ. Man, Paige's dad. I mean, all of y'all are just so entertaining. Thanks so much. And, oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. You bring light into our lives. Yes. Thank you, honeys. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's Bye. celebrate. Let's celebrate ending the, the one-year podcast with a with a little cake here. Does this light up, Maggie? Maggie went and got us a cake. and Yeah. Uh-huh. It's going to be like a f- sparkler. Happy oh. birthday. Listen to oh, you. There you go. Leave it right there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Viral Podcast. Happy birthday to you. Do we blow it out or let it go? We let it go. Look how cute. Let me get a little Snapchat of this. It's over. That was quick. Chelsea. That was, oh, I got the last tail end of it. That was quick. You what, know honey's? what we should have played? What? Remember when your candle busted and Maggie's oh, like, yeah. go grab a fire extinguisher. There's a fire. <laughs> and you're like, Maggie, Dude, chill that was, out. Oh, I got the last tail uh, end. Oh, we should have played that. That's all right. Maggie, chill out. You guys, I'm going to be starting a viral po- uh, a clip channel on YouTube. So we'll, 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 we will have all of like the little clips like that stuff. So you can go back and watch them and stuff. So that'll be easy access. So. We're adding more shit to our list. And I we know. still can't even figure out our headphones. I know. Stop. I was trying to play this soundbite earlier, but hopefully it'll work this time. Ready? Yep. I jack off to you, Tammy. <laughs> that is a goodie. Want. Who wants a piece of cake? I'll take a tiny sliver. Okay. All right. Getting Maggie a piece of Oh, it's vanilla inside. Oh, I thought it was going to be chocolate. I oh, thought that would be Dad. too much chocolate. Thanks, well, I think it looks like Russ, a swirl. Thank you. Do you when you eat cake? Do you like a end piece or do you like a uh, outside piece? If it's a sheet cake, I usually like an inside piece because it has less icing. I don't care for icing. Oh my god! Good. It's a good one. Oh my god! We got this cake from Baked on Eighth. Baked on Eighth. Baked on Eighth here in Nashville. It is a good-looking cake. I heard good things about wow. this cake place. There's cake, another cake, one for cake, you. Cake, cake, Russ. We're just oh, handing out four. some cakes. Here you go. Hey, honeys. Thanks hey. for listening to our podcast here. Hey, honeys. This is really hard to do with a microphone standing in front of you, but here we go. There's another one. We're short. We're short a... Uh, fork. Fork. That's right. I'm- I don't even need a piece. Okay. You don't need it here. We'll share a fork, honeys. Me and you. Yeah, here. Oh. I don't even need it. Well, I'll eat, take one bite. Oh. I just am not a big cake gal. Oh, I love me a good cake. 
All right, mm. let's try it here. Thank you for getting the cake. Mm-hmm. Mm. What is it? Just chocolate and vanilla, Maggie? Mm, it's a yeah. good one. Mm. Here, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> that icing. Do some ASMR smacking. Uh, okay, ready? I'm gonna do a little, a little ASMR. Bang. Dude, that sounds gross, Paige. Sounds like you're a creamy pussy. It does. Sounds just like it. It sounds. Maggie, good. don't say it, it does. <laughs> so casual. Ma- it Maggie does hasn't sound talked. Like. Maggie hasn't <laughs> talked the whole podcast, and she goes, "It has. It sounds just <laughs> like sounds it. just like it." Mm. Hey, Maggie mm. was doing a good job crossing out all the stuff I talked. I know. About. I Thanks. was trying. Yeah, thank you, Brett and Maggie, for yeah. the one year and for freaking being here every week. And everyone's done a great job. We could yeah. we could all do better, but everyone's done great. Thanks for having us. Mm-hmm. Thanks for glad having. to be here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm having a great time. Thank mm-hmm. you, Dad. Thanks for having sex with Mom. Mm-hmm. And that in her. This mm-hmm. is our job. <laughs> 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 Huh? We're just sitting here eating cake. Talking about nothing. <laughs> we are out of control, dude. Mm. Mm. Damn, that was good. I can't imagine, seriously though, my life without this podcast. Mm-hmm. Like, I cannot imagine what I did before. I know. I know. Listen to Tilly barking outside. She wants her mama. She, she wants eating. this cake. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go have Mexican food. Yeah, I can't wait to go there. Chelsea found a good Mexican. spot. I found a good spot here in Nashville. I don't know what it's called. I forgot. But, you know, I'll post it to my Instagram, maybe. I found a pretty good place, too. Mm-hmm. Mexican place? Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, it's pretty close to my house, so I'm just not going to say the name. Okay. Smart. <laughs> That's pretty smart. <laughs> Hi. All right, honey. That's pretty smart. We love all of you guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a part of our lives. Thank you for licking my pussy. If you do one day, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I don't know who's listening. So, appreciate you. And uh, and follow our Instagram, The Viral Podcast. Go to our oh, website. Yeah. I was going to say, honeys, go follow Paige on OnlyFans. Go follow Maggie on OnlyFans. Maggie has an OnlyFans. So, go follow her Instagram. I'm sure she's got the link up there. That slut's got the link up there. And uh, go follow Brett on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, what else is going on? Um, I'm going to be starting a Patreon here pretty soon. Um, I'm, I may get on, off OnlyFans. I don't know yet. I may keep both. I don't know yet. I'll, 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 keep, I'll keep you updated. Are we doing a Rock Fucker of the Week? I just now remember that I forgot to do a Rock Fucker of the Week this week. We have to do one for the one year. Yeah, you're right. Can you just scroll through? Yeah, I'm going to go on there and scroll through. I, I, you, you guys, I'm sorry. I, I should have done better. But we, we had we had better. a we had a lot going on that we had a lot to plan and stuff. Well, no excuses. Well, <laughs> you're right. You're right. And are, I should have done reasons, better. Excuses. I'm gonna pick someone. Uh, I'm gonna pick someone that um, has shared on their story. Um, Savannah Catherine. <gasps> woo 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 woo. She shared us. She shared our, our podcast on her story and tagged us, and we appreciate you doing that. And um, you know, spreading the good word of the podcast, we really appreciate you. And uh, Maggie's going to reach out to you on Instagram, get your address, get your T-shirt size, and you get to go pick a T-shirt that you want, honeys. Thank you, Savannah, Catherine. Thank you, honeys. I don't want this podcast to end because I feel so attached to it right now. Well, honeys, we'll be back next week. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you think we're done after a year well you know i don't know it's no. just like the build up to it you're just like damn mm-hmm. we'll be back next week honey plus i gotta piss i have to <laughs> i have to piss we gotta go bad. we sound like men <laughs> i know i gotta piss i gotta okay. piss okay All well right. we love you honeys thank you so much for being here for one motherfucking year Woo! Woo! And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what, what everybody, everybody else thinks. thinks. Oh, yeah, and call us. You know our number. They know our number. 442-777-3331.